I know that uh, Marx famously said that uh, our task is to change the world and that philosophers have only striven to understand it, but um, I have to say when I look at Marx's works, he spends an enormous amount of time trying to understand the world uh, and that is crucial uh, to changing it. And it's crucial for one very, very simple reason. And I think that reason is best expressed in the term that Marx used, which is fetishism. And by fetishism, Marx is referring to the masks that disguise what is go really going on. To me, what we need to do is to strip bare uh, the essence of what the credit system is about and then use that understanding of what the essence of the credit system is all about in order to, th to think through strategies of transformation of the credit system or even ask the question, why do we need a credit system anyway? And why can't we actually construct alternative ways of uh, providing use values to people that do not rely uh, upon this elaborate and very sophisticated system uh, of credit creation which, you immediately notice, has made some people extremely rich. The credit system is one of the primary means by which massive amount of accumulation by dispossession occurs. My own, my own uh, conclusion, uh, but um, I can be persuaded perhaps it's wrong, is that capitalism cannot do without accumulation by dispossession, and that if uh, you eradicate it and uh, all forms of accumulation by dispossession, then capitalism would essentially collapse. Now, so I think we should be actively pursuing the idea that we're going to curb the power of money as capital to circulate in society. And the way in which you do that is to start to reduce uh, the possibilities for accumulation uh, of capital by money being used to produce uh, uh, more money. If I have uh, this u kind of utopian, slightly utopian vision, it would go something like this, that we would want to construct a society in which exchange value uh, is not the dominant w form in society, but use value is the dominant form. So to me, uh, innovations along these lines become absolutely critical where we try to organize the divisions of labor in society and that our, our co-dependence upon each other nationally and internationally uh, via mechanisms other than through the market and through uh, the, the circulation of, of money and the circulation of money capital. Now that is going to involve experimentation at a, at a very high level in, in alternative ways of, of exchanging use values directly rather than going mediated through uh, the monetary forms. So for, the, for, that, for that to happen it means that we have to also find strategies to undermine uh, uh, capital accumulation processes and, and so I, I, I love this idea of uh, finding a money form that uh, oxidizes and so disappears and which actually inhibits the accumulation of capital uh, rather than, than actually uh, enhancing it. So one of the things that's really required here is, is the exploration of some non-monetary system to support exchange relations which works in a way other than barter. Uh, because we know the inadequacies, inadequacies of the bartering system. Uh, we, we cannot, if you like, shift back or shift into bartering situations. Uh, those bartering situations do arise in moments of crisis, of course, but then they quickly disappear uh, after the crisis is even halfway resolved. So what we need is, 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 is an alternative exchange mechanism uh, to both barter and conventional monies. And that's going to require uh, a way of, uh, of exchanging use values in multiple ways through multiple agents who are producing and consuming, uh, and to do it in a way uh, which does not invoke uh, conventional monetary systems and, and particularly does not uh, permit uh, the accumulation of, of, of wealth and power on the part of some as opposed to uh, others. But whichever way we go, it seems to me it's very important to try to, to move in a way that defetishizes what is going on around us. And, and to me, uh, one of the most important things that uh, we can do from an academic standpoint or an intellectual standpoint is to try to 
to emphasize the power of, of, of fetish beliefs in our society and the power they have to demobilize people from doing things as opposed to mobilizing them. So when I talk about various layers of strategies that we might engage in politically, uh, I would always attach to that the idea of each one of those activities of, 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 of political intervention ha has to actually defetishize a situation. And I think the defetishization of, of the credit system right now is absolutely critical uh, as the first step towards getting people uh, to start to imagine uh, a completely different way of delivering use values to people that allow people a decent living.